Okay, so find the volume of the solid by revolving the region in the first quadrant by those two curves around the y-axis. So I'm going to graph it here. Um, since we're going about the y-axis, I know my stuff's going to all take place in the top quadrant anyways, first and second quadrant, because of what was told, told to me. y equals x. What's y equals x going to look like? Straight line. Where do I start it? 0, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Okay, there's one line. I don't even know if I showed it up. Probably not. Okay, there's that. To graph y squared equals 4x, I don't know what that looks like. Okay, so solve for y. So to solve for y, i got to square root both of them. So y is going to be equal to the square root of 4. 2 square root of x. Or you could write the square root of 4 over x. It doesn't matter in order to graph it. Well, that's a little bit weird to me. If you're not sure, then plug numbers in. I'm going to always tell you to graph it by hand because that's the easiest way to do it. But if you're not positive, graph it by, by plugging in numbers. So let's see, when I plug 0 in for x, what's my y value going to be? 0. Okay, so there's my first place where I touch, which is great, but I'm going to need another place. Then let's plug in 1 for x. 2. So 1, I go to 2. Plug in 2 for x. Ugly, don't want to do it. What's the next value I'd want to plug in? Not, not, we could go to 4 though, right? If I plugged in 4 here, that'd be the square root of 4 times 2. That's 2 times 2, so that'd be 4. So at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's extend our graph. So I got to go a little bit further. I didn't go far enough. Far enough. There's that. So at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'd be at 4. Hey, look, they touch. Okay, so I needed to keep drawing them until they intersected each other. Okay, obviously I could do that in my calculator as well. I'd, I just like hand-drawn pictures better. Okay, I can visualize them, I can draw stuff, and I can make the circles. Questions with what I did there so far? I'm revolving it around the y-axis. So which direction do I need to flip this shape? Do I need to flip it down or to the left, right? If I'm going around the y-axis, left or right, yeah, whatever. Going this way. I'm revolving it around this way. So everything I drew in the first quadrant, I'm going to draw the mirror in the second quadrant. Okay? So here's this same graph here. I need to go, if I went to 4, I'm going to go to negative 4. Okay, the first one is just that straight line. Easy. The second one was this curve here where we started at 0, and then at 1 we went to 2. So at negative 1 we go to 2. At negative 4 we went to 4. There's my graph. Okay, if we would have put this in our calculator, we would have gotten the same looking picture. Okay, just to make sure, let's double check to make sure we didn't screw something up. So y equals x and... Uh, the square root of 4x. Obviously, 2x works there. There's the one graph, and there's the other. That's what I wanted. Okay, that's what we're graphing. Okay, cool. We're revolving around the y-axis, so when we revolve around an axis, what's our shape going to be? That's a circle. So this one right here, I'm going to draw a circle that goes from this curve to that curve. That's going to be one of them. And then you're going to have another one that goes from this curve to that one. So it's going to be a shape. The solid is only going to be this part of the shape. Only the outside. There's a hole in the middle when I draw. Okay, That's going to be the general shape. And as you go around, as you get taller up here, the thickness of the outside shape is going to get smaller and smaller. Okay, down here it's getting pretty thick. It just depends. Okay, the more you understand the picture that's being drawn, the better you're going to do with it. Okay, we're trying to find the volume of the shape. So in order to find the volume, what do we need to do? Integrate it. Which axis did we revolve it around? The y-axis. Think of how I drew my cylinders. I drew that or drew my washers. 
I drew them from the bottom to the top. They would go from here, and then here, and then here, and then keep going up. Okay, those are y values that we're dealing with there. So this is a dy problem. When do I start stacking my washers, and when do I stop stacking them? Zero to four. Okay, and then to make the area of a washer, okay, I've got to cut the inside out of it. I've got a big circle minus the little circle. That's what that shape is right there. Okay, so to find the area of the circle, big circle minus small circle. So it's pi something squared minus pi something squared. Anytime we revolve around the axis, it's always going to be a circle. Okay? Which equation gives me the big circle? Y equals X. It's this one because it's to the right. Since we're going around the Y axis, I want to know the rightmost curve, which is that curve. What do I want to fill in here? Do I, is that I'm going to fill in the Y or the X? Y. I need this problem to be a DY problem, so I want this equation to be x equals some y value. So it's x or pi of y squared minus the second equation. Well, that's going to be the blue curve. That's going to be this one. Here's my equation. What do I need to get by itself? I need to get x by itself. Right now it says y squared equals 4x. I need to get x by itself again because it's a dy equation. I want it to be x equals some y value. So to solve this problem, I'm going to divide by 4. Hey, now look, y is by itself, or x is by itself, sorry. y squared over 4 is that second equation. There it is. That's what I'm finding the volume of that area. So I want to integrate it. So pi y squared minus pi y squared over 4 squared. Uh, I'm going to factor the pi out. I like doing that. It's a little bit easier to do. I'm going to factor the pi out so this just becomes y squared. That second one, y squared squared, so what's that going to get me? y to the fourth, and then 4 squared gets me 16. That's my equation. You could type it in like the original stuff there or like that. Either way works for me. Both ways get you the right answer. It just depends on which one you like. Math 9. From 0 to 4, x squared minus x to the fourth divided by that divided by 16 dx that's not my right answer I got 8.533 that's not the right answer what did I not include pi I factored the pi out when I wrote it I better multiply by pi that's not going to give me the right answer if you typed it in with pi you have the right answer but I didn't so I'm going to take uh, multiply that by pi and get my correct answer, 26.8. 26.808. Questions on that? That's as hard as they get. So if you can do that one, you can do every washer problem.